am Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Full of the Pipe 2022. Yes, it's been two years that we've not had this show, but we're back with a bang, guys. Hundreds of trucks to show you in this video. So we've got a big lineup here from Jay Grennan, based in Burr in County Offaly. Bunch of R580s. They've brought eight Scanias to the show. Look at this. We've got an FH16, 750 horsepower in the rigid and drag. And he has on the window, what a load of bullocks. And then we have W Gill here with an R580 as well from 2004. Absolutely immaculate condition. Yeah, so it's going to be a great show, guys. Full of the pipe, 2022. Let's go. Kelly's have a nice selection here of recovery trucks and let's just check out the DAF LF because there's um, a bit of a load on the back here like what what it was going on here last night <laughs> look at all of the Heineken <laughs> what, like what's going on here yeah well I'll be going away with that anyway that's a reflect auto care quick detailer uh, yeah nice handy bottle there if somebody wants it and yeah there's a big huge recovery truck here uh, the Mercedes Actros. Look at this for a piece of work. Look at that, look. Yeah, big crane. So uh, let's just have a look in here because we can get a good view at the underpinnings there. Yeah, so they have this spotless. <laughs> it's so high up off the ground when the rams are put down there. Okay, I'm six foot two, guys. Look, <laughs> look how high up it is. I can't even reach the windscreen. <laughs> Look, <laughs> when it's sitting up on those rams there, it's so high up. Yeah, that's, I don't know, what, what price would you put on this? This is like, would this be half a million or 400,000, I don't know. Huge money. But yeah, uh, yeah, nice turnout there from Kelly Recovery. <laughs> he threw down the jump leads, guys. One of the trucks needs starting up, but which one, we don't know. This R730 from Sure Freight only has 39,000 kilometers on it. What is going on here? The blue stream. Like, what? <laughs> but they have some turnout. Sure Freight, I have to hand it to them. 18 trucks. So, is this the most amount of trucks from a freight company brought to the show? Possibly. I stand corrected, guys. Sure Freight actually brought 20 trucks to Full of the Pipe 2022. Now let me just talk to you about a short little, small little problem I had with the S580 during the week. Um, in second gear, I was pressing the accelerator and nothing was happening in second gear. So then I would flick up the Optic Cruise gearbox into the next gear and then it would power away no problem. So that happened to me twice last week. I don't know why it happened. I think it's something to do with the injectors. But I brought it down to Nolan's Day. They checked it out, took out off all the rocker covers, off all of the cylinders and check them all and how are you doing lads? <laughs> and yeah, everything seems to be going well at the moment and there was an update to the gearbox as well. So yeah, that is the latest news on the S580. That only happened last week before I done the video, the last video that you would have seen. Yeah, so there you go. Say hello guys. Well. Okay, the guys are firing up the barbecue there. Very nice. Moy glare sand and gravel. Nice selection of trucks from them. Bunch more Scanias and this very clean 1996 113M360 from Jenkinson Brothers, based in Bagnallstown, County Carlow. Move on to the S650 from Sure Freight. Then we have a 770S from Sure Freight as well. This is the Flying Griffin. I've never heard of a Flying Griffin, but this is one of the 16. It's obviously a UK thing. Uh, I've never heard of it before, uh, but just like the Scania Centurion was a UK idea, it did not come from Scania Sweden. Uh, we have the light bars there in between, the, uh, all of the extra pieces added on to the chassis here as well. Yeah, so this was all done by DG Spec. If I zoom in there, you'll see their name there, DG Spec. Okay, 
770s and obviously this lights up at night as well we've got the stacks out the back very nice example and all of the lights there and the wind deflector so there's nothing really much else to distinguish it apart from the the Scania Griffin at the side there which isn't very noticeable on the white paintwork and inside of the door as well you'll see the uh, number 16 there only 16 of these this is number 12 of 16 so yeah you just, you just about make out the Scania Griffin there on the door and a very nice number plate as well <laughs> S770 770S <laughs> okay yeah that's the way they should have stayed but you can thank Mercedes for that okay anyway <laughs> moving on uh, he does have the big light bar up on the top as well there you go the 770S from sure freight I found the Super Hamptons there you go guys there you go I think I need a pair of them what do you think it ain't ever happening boy <laughs> Okay, we've got the 2014 Volvo FMX tipper truck. How are you doing? And the Renault there behind it. Hey! <laughs> okay, we've got Brian Doyle. He's got a fabulous Scania R500 here with the V8 engine. Have a look at the little models he has on the front. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And he has won a trophy as well already. And he's a Mark II Escort model there on the front. and. Look what he has on the back, a <laughs> Mark II Ford Escort rally car. That is pretty cool. Nice piece of work. Then we have a Magnum 480 here as well from 2007. Okay, Casey Brothers. Now let's just walk down here because this Mercedes, this is incredible, this truck. Look at the crane on this, this recovery truck. So this has a V10 engine in it. Yeah, who remembers that? When Mercedes used to put them into the trucks. So let's just hop inside. This one has the flexible step at the bottom as well. So a grab handle on the door itself. And then another one here as well to climb up inside. So yeah, pretty cool to see this truck. Would you believe that this truck has only 500 kilometers from new? Yeah, it's an ex-army truck. Absolutely spotless. So uh, needless to say, the MPG figure is not very good. Around five miles or less to the gallon. And we have another Renault Magnum there as well, the R450 and the S520. Yeah, so pretty cool to see that. Look, you can actually see the mileage, look. 476 less than 500. Yeah, uh, let's just hop outside because I just want to have a, a walk around this truck. So yeah, you can lift about maybe six and a half ton with this extended about eight meters around that. Look at the Michelin tires. These are about 1,000 euro a piece for the tires on this. And let's just walk around the far side. It's got the big bar on the front here as well. And the winch there as well. Yeah, big tow hitch there. And yeah, he's got the air inlet there going out the side as well and the spare wheel out the back yeah so this is from the mid 90s this truck who knows how much this would have cost back then but huge money yeah that is quite a piece of work there from pat kyo recovery really like that he should definitely get some sort of recognition for bringing this to the show i've never seen one of these before this is really cool and let's just have a look at the Leaf spring as well. 16 leaf spring. Yeah, okay. That is, uh, that's definitely one of the highlights, I think, anyway. Yeah, really appreciate him bringing this to full of the pipe. Very nice to see it in the flesh. Okay, we've got a 142E V8 Scania there. Yeah, this one's got the big bumper at the front. Very good for putting your coffee on the bumper there. Just get your seat there, yeah. Very good. Heavy haulage on this one. And he has the stacks out the back there as well. Yeah. There's the leaf spring setup. <laughs> Pretty good to see that. Yeah. The sun is brightening up now. Turned out to be a good day. And we've got an Iveco X-Way tipper truck there. 
with a bottle of beer sitting on the tire. Yeah, so uh, just a day cab on this one. Let's just have a look at the chassis setup here. Yeah, they have rubber blocks there. Usually people put timber down here. But anyway, it all depends what way you spec the truck there on the X-way. Yeah, good to see it there sitting on bridge stones. Yeah, so I think the guy in this Scania wants to try and get out of Punchestown, but um, good luck with that. <laughs> Look at the traffic. The car park is just full of cars. Um, I don't even remember being this busy two years ago. This is nuts. Okay, let's just have a quick walk around this trailer here belong to Maguire haulage so this is known as a walking trailer so hundreds of people queuing at the moment to get into the show and uh, yeah so each of these plates they slide in and out to push out the load or what you can do is you can sit bags say of bark or mulch you can sit bags here and load the truck so you can put two bags and then slide it a bit and then another two and it will slide them all the way up to the front on this walking trailer and of course you can open up the whole top as well and load your whole load of wood chip and yeah so it's an aluminium chassis on this as well just to cut down on the weight but they could have cut down even more weight by having aluminium wheels instead of steel wheels but if you were to put a whole load of say wood chip on this you wouldn't even be grossing 46 ton because this time of the year the wood chip is uh it's not wet so it wouldn't weigh as much but yeah quite interesting to see the walking trailer i've never seen one of these in action by the way um and it has the led lights at the back there as well yeah so there you have it and you'd have to replace these about every two years depending on how often it's being used so you have to turn them around so these are the whole length of the trailer and you have to turn them around and then weld these back on and you can get even longer life out of these plates yeah quite interesting the walking trailer okay it's getting a bit loud here frank pratt has a bunch of trucks okay let's check out this old truck 1948 okay we're gonna start up the fordson see what it sounds like and this little guy has a custom made jacket here look what's your name George George very good George fair play oh, there we go. yeah so um you're not ready <laughs> George Francis we'll kick there it we go. Go. <laughs> oh it's petrol yeah petrol, yeah. yeah a tiny little petrol tank in it there five cubic yards uh, no hand signals Frank no. <laughs> The indicator pops out through here, look. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The Fordson. Yeah, let's just get a quick shot of the front of it there, look. Okay, a quick shot of the front. Yeah, nice piece of work there from Frank Pratt. 1948 Fordson. What's the payload, Frank? Five cubic yeah? yards. Yeah. Five cubic yards. So what are you allowed to gross, legally? Five cubic yards. <laughs> Whatever five cubic yards weighs, guys, that's what you're allowed to gross on this tiny little Fordson. So these are all Frank's previous trucks. A bunch of Scania's there. You see the 141, the 110, and 141, 143H. Nice airbrushing there at the back. So Frank Pratt, this company is now in its third generation. And Frank's grandfather, this was his original phone number. Look, 11 in Trim in County Mead. Look, his phone number was just 11 back in 1900. So great history in this company. Uh, Frank Pratt and the trucks there looking great. Yeah, it's just a few of his huge fleet he's brought to full of the pipe. Nice little model truck there from Scaled Rigs. Looking very nice. <laughs> Class. 
Oh, somebody hooting the horns all over the place. Nice selection of trucks here from MAN Trucks as well. The TGX 26510 and then the 640 and another 510 here and the TGS 35 430. Yeah, I think these grills would be very nice if they were painted in gloss black. Gloss black would look very nice in these. Anyway, I've got the key for the 640 and I'm going to hop inside just for a look. Yeah. This one has the aluminium wheels. Let's just have a quick look at this one. This one has the nice decals at the side. Painted black wheels on this. Okay, let's hop inside and let's remind ourselves what the MANs are like. Okay, inside the MAN. Yeah, quite nice interior on these. And this one has the selector as well for the menu. Yeah, nice display. And yeah, the bed isn't so bad either. Yeah, quite a tidy dashboard on the MAN. TGX 26 640. Okay, it's a quarter to four now in the afternoon and the trucks are just starting to roll out. So yeah, you'll get this, there'll be a big mad rush to the gates to get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's the same every time full of the pipe is on. Everyone just rushing home. So you've seen this truck back in 2018, the superheroes truck. Fantastic paint job on this Scania. Look at this. Yeah. Great piece of work. All of the superheroes. And Batman, the whole lot. They're all there. So yeah, it did win full of the pipe back in 2018. Incredible work done on that. Okay, we've got the 1990 F10 Volvo. 320 horsepower and my father used to have one of these back in 1988 and he purchased it would you believe <laughs> for 49,750 pounds back in 1988 and there's one there two years newer uh, white brothers yeah. quite a turnout here from jay davidson as well to Volvos and Scanias. Yeah, so it's near closing time now. All the horns going off. But yeah, we've seen these trucks before at Full of the Pipe. Great paint job on them. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go out now and I'll get some of them leaving. Get some rolling shots. So he's after winning a prize for this. Spotless condition. And it's going off now to be put on a low loader. Yeah, pride of the fleet. We've three 770s here. Behind each other, like what's going on? Where, where's all the money coming from? Huh? We need the power as well. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the 4x2 here, the Scania 144L530. This isn't any ordinary 144L. This truck, from new, it's 22 years of age, has only 605 kilometers on it. Yes, I said 605 kilometers from new. Needless to say, it is as new as you'll ever find a 144. It's absolutely spotless never been painted as you can imagine with this kind of mileage so wait until you hop inside because the plastic is still on the passenger side seat and this is definitely the plastic because if we look at the label there you see that label there that matches in with the delivery label on the windscreen so yeah everything <laughs> this is just spotless on the inside definitely the cleanest one I've seen for obvious reasons because it has so little mileage on it and the retarder there as well and uh, yeah the three over three gearbox with the splitter and range change yeah this is uh, about as good as you'll ever see one of these trucks and yeah it's been recently purchased by Mackin who 
very luckily spotted it online for sale and uh, just look at it look how clean this truck is everything is just as new and uh, yeah what a find <laughs> God only knows how much it was purchased for but huge money I would say but anyway that's the 144 L 530 now let's move on to this long line Scania the R620 look at this for a piece of work customization on the back there even the rear lights all customized and nice touch here on the back as well with the chain I've not seen that done before that's nicely finished off there and the stacks so we're gonna hop inside and have a look at this and uh, see what way it's finished thanks for that look at this on the door look wow wow this is <laughs> no I've not hopped into it before uh, I hope I don't scrape anything uh, M&M truck design look at the seats the stitching on the seats look wow that's fantastic and of course the long line has loads of space on the inside and yeah <laughs> plenty of storage in this truck but all the lights and the finish up there yeah and the steering wheel and all all the switches and all look all the customization on them and on the dashboard as well so what a piece of work yeah very impressive and yeah so that is quite a paint job on that let me just stand back here and give you a look further back at the bull bar there on the front yeah so what year is this again guys all right 2008 r620 from Mackin and what a turnout of trucks they have there as well <laughs> yeah and the t-cab scania and the old f86 as well yeah okay let's keep going okay uh, there's a few trucks getting stuck in the mud here uh, some dirty tires there you go that's what happens when you park in the soft earth or full of the pipe you get stuck in the mud yeah good fun though well he left his mark nice one well he's out anyway and we've a very clean Volvo FH there as well from Flynn's look at the interior on this custom work is he stuck as well oh maybe he's not oh he is he is yeah oh yeah straight from here go on pull the volvo pull it pull 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 huh? go on go on nearly go on go on go on go on go on nearly there it's nearly there go on go on he's nearly out he's nearly out Still spinning. Oh, come on! It's nearly gone. What's wrong with it? Okay, it's bogging in at the front. It's spinning at the back. It's pulling it. Come on! Oh, the strap has snapped. There you go. It's taking a bit of a pull to get this FH520 out. So yeah, as you can imagine, it is drawing quite a crowd here. Trying to get the FH out. Everyone is looking to see uh, are they actually going to get it out? Pull, pull, pull! Go on, you're nearly there. Go on. Come on, at the front. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on again. The strap is broke. And these guys are pushing the truck. There we go. Yeah, he's out. Here, we need to get those two lads over here to push the FH. <laughs> okay, so we've got the reinforcements in, the chain. There we go, there we go. Everyone's joining in now. Everyone wants to see this FH. Oh. Go on, lads, come on, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, he left his mark and he certainly did go in style there you go <laughs> okay the Volvo FM 500 is now getting pulled out 
and uh, oh yeah, easy, easy work. Yeah, so she got a bit stuck there as well. But anyway, everyone's heading home. That's it. The fun's over. today for full of the pipe 2022 what a fantastic turnout and the 143 m 450 here look at the paint job on that incredible work nicely presented sitting on the carpet as well so i really do hope you enjoyed oh, no. the show i'll be here. Yeah. i'll be here again next year plenty more trucks to show you then but full of the pipe 2022 we're out guys all right cheers thanks for watching